Happy Wednesday. I want to ask you a question today. How to become a millionaire God's way? Anybody interested? This is good. Hang on. This is really good. It's not as hard as you think. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Because I know how to do it. I am really, really know how to do it. Glory to God. Huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because he gets incredible results. And he's available. This is the most unique ministry in the country. Nobody is doing what I do. And nobody is getting these results. Glory to God. Glory to God. Share this video with everybody you know. Share it, please. Tell everybody you know about these videos. And if you're watching these on, the, on our Facebook page, the Pastor Jim group, hit the invite button at the top. Invite all of your friends. Everybody's goal this year should be to get 10 people watching the videos. If you do, you're going to change 10 people. And they in turn will get people to watch. And it will, and you would you will be such an incredible blessing in the kingdom. And the people that you show and tell about these videos, they will love you forever. You will have favor with those people for the rest of your life. Just give them a card that says, call Pastor Jim for prayer. Or watch the videos. Send everybody you know a text message. Tell everybody you know on your Facebook page. Post them on, pay, fa on Facebook. Because we want God's people to be blessed. My, my whole deal is moving people into abundance. I got some news for you. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I got a report. I got a report yesterday from somebody that they have now become a millionaire. Somebody who was having trouble paying their bills a few years ago. Now, you have to understand something about millionaires. Okay? And I'm going to tell you about millionaires. 10% or all, actually about 8% of the adult people in the United States are worth a million dollars. That's 8%. That's a lot. 20, it is 20, over 21 million people in this country are millionaires. So being a millionaire today is not a rare thing. It used to be rare. But there's a lot of millionaires out there. I want you to be one of them. I want you to be one of them. Now, a millionaire is somebody whose net worth is over a million dollars. If they if they have a net worth, say their house is worth $500,000. And they happen to have something else, a boat, a car. Then they have uh, uh, some cash in the bank. They have a retirement account that's worth money and all that stuff. If they have, if all that adds up to over a million dollars and their debt does not offset that, say, if they're worth a half of, if they're worth a, if their home goes way up in value. See, years ago in California, people bought all these homes out there in, in Beverly Hills and in Los Angeles and up in the hills and and uh, in those areas, they bought those homes for just normal prices. Well, during the 50s, the 60s, and the, and the 70s, those homes skyrocketed in value. And all those people that bought those homes became billionaires. So a lot of them sold their homes out there, 
moved to Florida, bought, bought much cheaper homes that were just as nice and lived off the rest of the money as millionaires. A lot of them did that. You, you don't hear about those people, but a lot of them did that. Well, today the property values have gone up so much that there's, a, there's even more millionaires. And I just got a report from somebody who crossed over and became a millionaire. I mean, see, I, I, I ask everybody at the beginning of the year to figure out your net worth. And the reason for that is because I want your net, I want to see if your net worth goes up between this year and next year. It should. If you're watching these videos, your net worth should be increasing, folks. And that's a fact. And I know some of you are increasing like crazy. So now we have had three people become millionaires in this ministry. Three. And Two of them were several years ago, but now we've just had a new one. And I praise God for these people. I praise God. And I know some of you out there who are, who are listening to me are close. I know some of you are close. If you're close, call me. Let me pray over you. Let's get you over that. Let's put you in the top 8% of the people in the country. And you say, well, Pastor Jim, why is that important? I'll tell you why that's important. Because of Proverbs 10, 22. It says, the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. And he has no hard work or toil to it. Now, this last person that got it is doing the same thing they were doing 10 years ago. 20 years ago. Same thing. They haven't changed anything. They didn't go out and get more jobs. They just, what they were doing, got blessed. I happen to know somebody who uh, is a salesman. And he struggled for years and years and years. But now, he's in the, he's in the top 1% or 2% of his company. Why? He's not doing anything. Well, he's doing a few things different. He learned how to, he learned how to do it. But he's blessed. Now... Major sales just come to him. They just come to him. I mean, he, he was telling me about it. Just These are just incredible things that just come to him. What is the difference? You have to ask yourself, if you, it, and everybody should have a desire to be well off. Because the better off you are, the more of a blessing you can be. And that's a fact. That's a fact. We, number one secret is don't seek money. Don't love money. Money, money has never been important to me. Even when I didn't have any, it was not important to me. Money is more important to people who don't have any than it usually than it is to people who do. Money, even when I was broke, money money was, if I had it, I would hand it out. I would share it. I would, and, and I've always wanted to be a blessing to people. Now I can be a blessing to people. That's a big deal, huh? I want you to be a blessing. I want people to see that, that, you, that you're doing good. You know, in order to be a wealthy person nowadays, you have to have, uh, a net worth of like two and a half million of two point wealthy is considered two point two million dollars. If you have two point two million dollars, you're considered wealthy. Even a millionaire is not considered wealthy nowadays because there's so many of them. But I want you to get to the point. Nowadays, a millionaire is somebody generally who can pay their bills and has money left over. And who has made some wise investments, such as a house or property or things like that. Wise investments. Who is operating with the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom will cause you to become a millionaire. That's a fact. It says, it, with the spirit of wisdom, in her right hand is long life. It, the spirit of wisdom will cause you to get healed. If you're sick, the spirit of wisdom will get you healed. 
It'll show you what to do, where to go, who to talk to. Amen? And in her left hand is riches and honor. That's what wisdom does for you. God's word is all about abundance. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He redeemed us from the curse of the law so the blessing could come upon us. Now, I always look, I started to look at these successful people years ago. And I said, what do all of them have in common? I found one major common denominator among all of them. All of these people, Kenneth Copeland, Creflo, T.D. Jakes, Leroy Thompson, Bill Winston, Jesse Duplantis. These people, what do all of them, Keith Moore, Kenneth Hagin, Jerry Seville, what do all of those people, they all have one thing in common. Actually, two. Two things in common they have. But the one that they do start out with is they keep the devil out of their lives. And number two, they watch their words. I'm telling you, folks, this, to become a millionaire is so simple. Now, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about abundance for a while. Because God's will for your life is for you to live in abundance. It is the blessing. It says, thou shalt not forget the Lord thy God. For it is he who gives thee power to get wealth, which continues his covenant. There is a covenant of wealth. A covenant of wealth. And it don't take much to crack that 8%. Now, we, we're, we rejoice with these people who do become millionaires. But let me tell you something, folks. It's not that big a deal. It's where God wants people to be. It's where God wants people to be. This is God's will for your life. Don't let anybody talking from the pits of hell convince you of anything different. The devil has stolen people's abundance. He's stolen their health. Don't let him steal this from you. This belongs to you. Jesus said, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham. If you're a son or a daughter of Abraham, let me tell you something, folks. You've got healing coming to you and you've got abundance coming to you. It is owed to you. It's part of the covenant. It's part of what God wants for you. And don't let anybody ever convince you of anything different. Please. God wants good things for you. Being a millionaire nowadays is not that big a deal. It is to the person who cracks the barrier. Keep track of what God's doing in your life. Keep track of it so that you can be a walking testimony, a walking praise report to increase other people's faith. This last person that became a, a millionaire, you know, they're they're just they're extremely happy for themselves, but really to them and their family, it's not that big a deal. The only thing that's a big deal is the fact that they can pay their bills. And they have money left over. And they live in a nice house. That's what they're, that's what is a big deal. And that's what I want for you. And I am determined that you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And if you do, this will come to you. I'm telling you, folks, it will just come to you. I tell people this, when I break the curse of the law in their lives and speak the blessing over them, I say, now you just enjoy your life. Enjoy your family. Enjoy everything about your relationship with God and watch what happens. Don't pursue wealth. The Bible says that wealth will pursue you. It will chase you. It will overcome you. It'll chase you right down the road. It'll find you if you're hiding under the bed. God's abundance. God's blessing. That's what I want for you. And that's what I am determined that we're going to make happen in your life.